I want to bring in Scott Flanders. He is eHealth CEO, very concerned about the current state of the healthcare system in the United States. So, welcome back to the program, Scott. It's good to see you again. And I'm going to ask you the same question. I cannot believe that the Republicans will reject this and vote no on it. What do you say? You're absolutely right. We absolutely must get this legislation passed. Conservatives should support it. It's a major improvement. It increases consumer choice. It saves $600 billion in taxes, Stuart. It reduces the deficit by $330 billion. It's inexplainable to me why conservatives would not support this legislation. But you do know, I, I'm sure you know, that this bill, the latest iteration of this bill, includes, it keeps the 0.9% surcharge imposed on high income earners. It keeps that tax. This bill keeps that tax. Is that a concern? Look, the alternative here is to keep a failing Obamacare. Okay, we need to improve it. We need more consumer choice. We need more young people in the system. This is collapsing, and it's a, it is a tax reduction, and it'll improve job creation. This is punishing the middle class. I don't think it's getting enough attention is how this discourages, Obamacare discourages work. The tax subsidies are a penalty on making more money, and the tax credits are a major step forward. Conservatives need to get behind this. Now, the president says if you vote no, he's walking away. There's no other bill in reserve. There's no plan B. Obamacare stays in place. What, what, what would that do to our health care system? Well, premiums have already gone up from $400 to $1,000. They're going to go up more in 2017. They, and more insurers are leaving the marketplace. So the marketplace for the individual market, which is 36 million Americans, more than 10% of America relies on this marketplace, and it's collapsing. The president can't let that happen. He's taken a principled position. The legislation has improved. The Freedom Caucus needs to declare victory. They got the minimum essential benefits relaxed. That was major progress. That was important to insurers. It'll be good for consumers. But at some point, you declare victory, and you get done the doable. And you can't just live in a world of perfection. You know, this may be a badge of honor in certain districts here, but this is going to be a catastrophe if this legislation does not pass and pass soon. It is the story of the day, and we're glad you're here to discuss it. Scott Flanders, eHealth CEO. Thank you, sir. Appreciate you being with us.